maps show the information about geographical locations and resources within a region. The experiences at the beginning of humankind, the information gathered from around us, the identification of paths and directions, and our general knowledge formed the basis of the modern-day maps. Soon, these human experiences came to be transferred on paper and their need and accuracy grew together as advancements were made in science and technology. The journey that started with the paper maps has now reached our mobiles and computers in the form of digital maps and 3D geospatial data. In India, the Survey of India is the national mapping agency functioning under the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, also plays an important role in providing satellite data for this work. Modern mapping services and geospatial data are essential and play a very important role in the construction of every infrastructure project. All economic activities, development projects, smart and innovative services, supply chains, logistics, infrastructure construction, mining, agriculture and small-scale industries. However, due to complete government control over the creation, dissemination and storage of maps and geospatial data in India, the private sector required licenses for its use. To top it, the licensing process was a complex one. Due to these restrictions, startups faced a lot of difficulty, thereby affecting modernization in a number of areas. Whereas, in other countries, this information is readily available for use on common fora. As part of its plans for Atmanirbhar Bharat and the Digital India program, the Government of India has now announced the liberalization of these complex rules, which is the need of the hour. This will increase the cooperation between the public and the private sector and both can benefit from the development of maps and modern geospatial data. Now, under this liberalization policy issued by the Department of Science and Technology, Indian private companies have been allowed to share data for various applications ranging from logistics and transportation to road safety and e-commerce. Geospatial data from government agencies like the Survey of India and ISRO will be made available to public and private companies in the country. Private institutions in India can survey and map all physically accessible areas without the need for advance clearance. Data collected by government agencies can now be easily shared with the public as well as with the industries. Indian entities will not require prior approval, security clearance and licensing for using geospatial data, geospatial data services, acquisition and production of maps. This initiative is expected to bring about a big change in every field. It will provide a big boost to digital India. There will be tremendous opportunities for startups, public sector companies, private sector companies and research institutes in India. It will help foster innovations and create scalable solutions. Employment generation and economic development will gain momentum. In addition, this policy will also increase the scale, speed and accuracy of mapping. The importance of geospatial data has increased significantly along with mapping. It is also called spatial data and gives a detailed description and data of objects and features on the surface of the earth, both natural and man-made. Liberalization of these rules by the Indian government will now increase the accuracy of these technologies. It will also ease ambitious projects like linking of rivers, industrial corridors, smart power systems and more. This policy liberalization is also expected to help in disaster management and risk reduction directly affecting the agriculture sector and farmers of the country. 
Geomapping will benefit services like crop insurance, assessment of drought and flood risk zones. Information such as the status of crops, correct irrigation time, harvesting time will now be more accurate. Most importantly, these changes will reduce the dependence on foreign and external companies in the digital geospatial data sector. The biggest advantage perhaps will be simplifying the lives of people and empowering small businessmen. These changes in India's mapping policy will help create the next generation of maps in the country. And in the future, India will move on a path of self-reliance as it becomes a global mapping power.